What's appealing, YouTube? This is Tasty Taste, and I'm back with another Let's Try Something New. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own honey barbecue ribs. Let's go. What's appealing YouTube? This is Tasty Taste and I'm back with another Let's Try Something New. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make some honey barbecue ribs. The first thing we're going to do is open up these pack of ribs, rinse them off and dry them really good. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is washing our meat. Like I said, we're going to want to take this out and you're going to want to rinse it very well. Okay, so after you're done rinsing them, you're going to want to dry them off very well. We're going to pat them with paper towels, or you can use a uh, um, tablecloth. Okay, as you can see, I put down paper towel. I'm going to be laying down my ribs on it so we can absorb the bottom moisture. And we're just going to be patting them completely dry. The more drier they are, the more crispier they will be. They will taste a lot better. Trust me. Okay, so now you can see we're done drying it. So now we're gonna do a little surgery. We are going to be skinning off this layer right here. It's gonna make it cook much more efficient on both sides. You gotta remove that layer. So I'm gonna be showing you how to get a knife under there and basically pull it out. So we're gonna start at the end here. And you're just gonna to wanna to get under that first layer, like so. Be very careful with the knife. I'm just gonna work it side to side like that. Get you some leverage in there to the point where you can get your finger in there and you can just manually just start pulling it. Sort of like taking the skin off of a sausage. That's what you want right there. Just be able to pull them all up in one stripe. That's the perfect, that's what you can hope for. Sometimes it may get a little messy, it may take some time, and sometimes it might just come right off. Okay guys, so right now I'm gonna be showing you how to make our dry rub. Um, the first thing you're gonna be needing is just very simple, a tablespoon of salt. You're gonna be using a tablespoon of garlic powder a tablespoon of smoked paprika. Again, you can use regular paprika, but I prefer smoke because you get that really good smoky taste. And then you're gonna be using a tablespoon of pepper, and then we're gonna be adding two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now you can use light or dark, it really don't matter, whatever your preference is. Okay, so after you're done adding everything together, we're gonna mix it really well. Mmm, smells so good. Okay, so there you have it. There's our dry rub. Now we're gonna be adding that on to the ribs. Okay, so like I said, we're just gonna be adding that to our ribs. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm all done with the dry rub. When you're done, this is kind of what it should look like. 
I want to get some of these sun shots. That's why I did it outside today because it looks such a beautiful. Uh, Happy New Year's to everyone, by the way. Happy New Year's. May 2023 bring you everything that you ever dreamed and desired. But that also comes with a lot of work and devotion. Understand that. Uh, kind of like my YouTube channel here. You know what I mean? I got to keep coming out with these goods. So anyway, so this is what it's going to look when it's done. So now we're going to transfer this into our baking pan. Okay, guys, so now we're going to be transferring our ribs to our pan. You're going to put them meat down. And then we're going to add another layer on top of foil to cover them up. And we're going to be putting them to the oven. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so now that we have our ribs placed meat down, um, I'm going to cover them with an extra layer of foil here. I'm using a non-stick one. More easier to just remove, you know, you don't have to worry about the barbecue and stuff sticking to it. I'm gonna be covering up, not too tight. Now we're gonna be placing these in the oven and I'm gonna show you how to make our honey glaze. Let's go. Okay guys, so before placing these in, you're gonna have your oven at 200 degrees and we're gonna place them in there for about two hours. Now the time is gonna vary. We are gonna turn them around at a certain point after the two hours and they're gonna cook for another 45 minutes. Let's go. Okay guys, so I just turned over my rack of ribs and we're gonna put them back into the oven and we're gonna leave them for another 45 minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna be making our barbecue honey glaze. So the first thing all you're gonna need is two ingredients. You could use your favorite kind of barbecue sauce, which I'm gonna be using my Kinder's roasted garlic. I love Kinder's, shout out to Kinder's. And then I'm gonna be using some honey, just some everyday honey. So you can use any kind of honey you want, um, any kind of substitute in a syrup form if you do not like honey, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna be using a half cup of each one. We're gonna put them in a bowl, we're just gonna mix them together, like so. Okay, so next we're going to be adding our honey. And then we're just going to mix that together really well. And this is going to be our glaze. Okay, so next we're going to brush this onto our ribs. Okay, so we're going to glaze this onto our ribs here Okay, so after we're done glazing it, we're gonna put it back in the oven for 15 minutes, that's about it, and without the uh, foil on top. Okay guys, so and there we go. You got your very own beautiful honey barbecue ribs. Um, now we're gonna carve them. Let them want, you're gonna wanna let them sit for at least 20 to 30 minutes and then we're gonna cut them. Um, it lets everything get nice and tight and absorbed and sticky. Trust me, you're gonna love them. So another 20, 30 minutes and we are gonna cut them up. Let's go. Now on a side note, as a side dish, I'm making some pork and beans here, like I said, and I'm going to put some of the uh, barbecue sauce that I had, the glaze in here, and it just looks amazing. So I'm going to put this back in the microwave and let it warm up. But it's something you can add as flavor to a, a side dish if you want to, not just the meat. Okay guys, now I'm going to be cutting up our ribs, and now as you can see, where you want to be cutting is in between the bones, the most meatiest part in between these bones right here. It's going to be making our incision on each one. Like so. We're gonna let those sit for a minute and then we're gonna be putting them on a dish. Let's go. As you can see, they all were cooked to perfection. Slow. Long game is the word when it comes to ribs, people. 
You got to play the long game. If you think you're going to get some good ribs in 30 minutes, you're out your mind. All right? And if you do, you're going to get some nasty tasting ones. Trust that. Okay. So we're gonna, these are done sitting now. Now we're going to put them on our dish and I'm going to serve them. And there you have it, guys. You got your very own honey barbecue ribs. Try the recipe out. Uh, if you did, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about it. Did you like the sauce? I know it's the ish. <laughs> um, and yeah, like always, guys, this is Taste to Taste. And uh, keep tasting. Thank me later, America. Peace. Thank you.